good afternoon, YouTube. This is Tony on behalf of uh, the Defiant Audio channel. Um, I'm going to do a little example of exactly what low and high pass filters do. Now, first thing, this is a Polk PA 500.4. As you can see, it's got uh, input select, gain, frequency, which crossover you want, and bass boost for front and rear. Rear is on bottom, front is on top. For this particular video, my uh, front channel gain is all the way down because I want you to hear the back speakers. Um, I've also got two 12s in here. Um, by no means a master system or anything. And pretty cheap uh, amp on those. But as you can see, it also has gain. It has a uh, bass boost and it has low and high pass frequency. Right now it's set to low pass, which is what you want for subwoofers or things designed to play bass. Um, I usually keep mine around 80 or 90 hertz. Um, I happen to have the sealed enclosure here. That's not what this video is about. What this particular video is about is what exactly does a high pass filter do? So as you can see right now, I have both of my uh, crossover set to flat, which means that my components get full signal. They're not canceling anything out. My actual crossovers are not being used on the amplifier. So switch both of those to high pass. All right, you can kind of see it. If your gain over here, which I keep pretty low because I have uh, an equalizer which puts out good voltage. All right, so right now we're on high pass, and you can hear exactly what it sounds like. So what I'm gonna do? I bet that's the end of the song. I have bad timing. We'll wait till the next song comes on. Right now, the uh, the high pass filter is set around, I would imagine, 80 hertz or so. This particular one goes between 50 and 500, uh, and it works for both, not like the other amp that I just showed you. But right now it is set um, a quarter of the way up or so. I, I imagine that's 80 or 100 hertz. But listen to the difference as I turn the high pass filter up. See, it sounds really hollow because it's canceling out every note below 500 hertz right now. And now I'll turn it back down. That's around the 200 hertz range. And that's about where I had it set before. Again. Right now, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it's set a little over a quarter of the way up. I don't know if you can tell by the angle of the screwdriver, but 50 hertz is on the left, 500 on the right. This is what you get. And this is what happens as I turn it up to about 500 hertz. See, it cancels out virtually all of the bass and mid bass. And again, as I turn it back down. And you get most of your mid bass back. Now, the whole purpose of a low pass filter or a high pass filter is to avoid damaging your woofers and your tweeters by giving them something they're not supposed to take. Now, in contrast, a low pass filter does exactly the opposite. So, we'll take the rear channel, and we'll switch it to low pass, and you can't hardly hear anything because woofers aren't designed for bass. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will turn it up. And you see it's allowing frequencies passed that are up to about 500 hertz. Turn it back down to where it was. And it's not allowing anything that is above 80 or 100 hertz. Which is just the way that I happen to have my stuff set up and I like it. Now again, flat lets everything through and it doesn't cancel anything out. If you have expensive speakers on a four channel amplifier, you probably want to run a high pass filter set at somewhere around 80 or 100 hertz, just so that you're not blowing them up. 
Now, if you watched Defiant Audio's last video, uh, he was explaining crossovers. Sorry, I had to turn my front channel back up. He was explaining crossovers. Now, in the back doors there, I have um, two-way speakers, which are the woofer and tweeter in one. In front, I have um, the Polk DB6501s, which are passive crossovers like these. So you got your one input, and it splits the output to woofer and tweeter. And on a lot of these, you will have uh, adjustable tweeter level. I have mine set to negative three. It goes negative three, zero, plus three. I actually have four of these. I have uh, one in each door. Then I also have, uh, well, you might be able to see it, one in this air duct and one in that air duct. As you can see, the tweeter is here. The six and a half inch woofer is down here. But uh, that's crossovers. And I'm gonna let you listen to the woofer and the tweeter to see what the crossover does. And it has its, its, its own high and low pass filters built into it. Listen. See, you get nothing but high frequencies there. And then with the woofer, you get all your mid-bass again. So, I hope that has helped explain just a little bit about um, what crossovers do, what you can do with your amplifier. Um, a lot of head units happen to have something in there that, that for crossovers. This one is rather cheap so it doesn't have much of a crossover at all. My equalizer here actually has its own low pass crossover built into it for the uh, subwoofer output. Um, you don't need an equalizer uh, but if you have subwoofers you definitely need some kind of a low pass filter on them. Anyway, I hope this has helped somebody. Y'all have a good day.